Forbes magazine naming two young New Zealanders in its annual 30 under 30 rankings. This is pretty exciting. Uh, These uh, rankings designed to showcase 30 people under the age of 30 that the world needs to watch and in this case uh, listen to as well. We've got Jake uh, Miller with us now who's one of those. Good morning to you Jake. Good morning Guyon. Now you must be pretty excited about uh, being named on this list. You were telling uh, telling me just before we came on, on air that for your unfiltered TV uh, business, you, you, you're you looking through these lists to find um, cool interview subjects, and now you're on the list. Yes, it was pretty surreal yesterday, because we have spent a lot of time combing through the 30 other 30 over the years and trying to work out who to interview next, and uh, we certainly didn't expect to be on it ourselves, so mm. it was a pretty cool cool news to wake up to yesterday. Yeah, and you're well under 30, aren't you? How old are you? Uh, just clocked 23. Just clocked 23. But yeah. I was reading through some of the stuff you've done, which makes me feel like I haven't achieved much. Um, so you started Umfa. Tell me briefly about that and what happened to it. Yeah, so when I was at Christchurch Boys, I uh, was fortunate enough to be offered a, a scholarship to go and study law at the University of Otago. Um, but I wanted to start a business and leave school and start my first company. And I, I just found there weren't that many careers, resources for young people leaving school who had dreams and aspirations and mm. fields that weren't traditional. Yeah, because so, you had the old guidance counselor when I was there. Exactly. Yeah. Usually some bearded guy who'd tell you what not to do. <laughs> yeah, so, and shout out to my guy counsellor because he was actually quite good right. my careers advisor but that's generally not something that a lot of students say with their school so UMFA, what we did is we interviewed 150 of the country's sort of most successful people across a range of fields from sports to celebrity chefs to politicians to news anchors to you name it and just asked them you know if you were 18 years old today how would you get started where would you go what would you do and we filmed all of the content we put it on a website and then we sold that company to the government in 2015. Yeah so that was what careers is it careers.gov? Careers New Zealand yeah. Yeah and you were what um, you hadn't even hit 20 when you sold that business. No, so I was 19 at the time. Mm. Uh, Careers New Zealand had a very entrepreneurial CEO and I look back now and I think there's always a bit of luck in business deals and Keith, the, the guy running it at the time, was uh, very entrepreneurial and I, I, I really am grateful for that experience to go through. It. You know, Selling a company to the government when I was 19 was, was yeah. pretty cool. You're not going to tell me what you sold it for, are you? Uh, it was undisclosed, but it was a six-figure deal. So yeah. it was pretty cool to be able to yeah. do that at such a young age. Absolutely. And so um, Unfiltered TV, that's your thing now, isn't it? Yes. Uh, tell me about that. What's it about? Yeah, so we're a, we're an online global business learning platform. So we interview we've interviewed about four hundred of the world's top entrepreneurs, business leaders, creators from around the world, and we break up all of our content into learning modules to help entrepreneurs, startups, and business leaders scale and grow valuable companies. When you say learn, I mean it's not Khan Academy stuff. It's what what is it? It's like. Most of our interviews go for about an hour long and then they're broken up into about 20 or 30 individual segments and then we mix and match the different segments and draw comparisons and trends between the world's great companies. So we've, this year we've interviewed about 40 founders and CEOs of billion dollar American unicorn companies. Um, so, Hang on, a unicorn company? Uh, meaning a privately held company over the valuation of $1 billion. Oh, we've been Ju- talking about unicorns this morning but not those kind of unicorns. <laughs> I've got a five-year-old and that's not what that word means to her. Right. Um, <laughs> how how you make money off that site? Uh, so we've got, at the moment we've got a content marketing model so we work with about 30 companies such as PwC and BMW uh, we co-create content which we also distribute through the platform. Uh, we also run Unfiltered Live which is a major event series. We host about 750 people each year and do a big full day live experience here in Auckland. Uh, but we're just transitioning to a new B2B model so we're going to be moving into the B2B learning space where we're going to be selling essentially subscriptions to companies all around the world to help them grow and scale. And- Have you done sort of capital raising for for this or is it yeah, so for the first year we bootstrapped it and then we raised... A, a what, does one, that, what does that mean? Uh, didn't ra- Basically funded it ourselves right. and tried to make it work without raising any money. Yeah. And then that we raised $1 million and then we raised another... Sorry, one point two, and then another million dollars. So we've raised $2.2 million NZ dollars today. Tell me about the future in 25 seconds. The future in 25 seconds. <laughs> I would say um, it's going to be ambitious, bold. It's going to be global and uh, hopefully really exciting. But back to the US soon. Uh, we've got a huge filming tour coming up in January you know, founders of Tinder, Hootsuite, um, Rick Caruso, who's just been called the the Walt Disney of retail. So a really, really exciting time coming up. Awesome. Thanks very much, Jake. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Jake Miller. It's not your real name. You changed it because you were going to get mixed up with a rapper or something. (laughs) Yeah, my surname used to be Miller, M-I-L-L-E-R. And then all of our interviews and press was just getting lost online in the sea of rapper stuff. So I changed it legally. Thanks, Jake. Here's a bird. The Black Noddy. 
RNZ National.